Uh, his name is Mr. Coffee. And we're going to be doing some configurations in the bottom where the heating element is. And we're going to bypass all the uh, thermal overloads and everything in order to get what we want. This is the same setup we had with the stove elements, this time with a coffee maker. So the 50 amp plug is then inserted into the 50 amp socket. The power then travels unballasted to a 10 kVA transformer where the voltage is turned from 240 to 480 volts. And once again, no current limitation at all. Then it goes to the coffee maker from there. So let's go ahead and then turn this thing on, see what happens. There we are. It's like freezing cold out here. And in order to make coffee, we need water in it, don't we? I think it received more power than it bargained for. Definitely, uh, definitely fried this over. You can kind of see that, uh, just like the stove top elements, a hole was blown through the casing of the heating element. And in this case, it blew right through the uh, hot plate on the uh, coffee maker here. Yeah, it's quite intense there. Well guys, thank you very much for watching as always, that was fun, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, well, I'll catch you guys with some more uh, videos in the future, and of course, have fun, play safe, stay safe, do not try what you saw, it's very lethal and dangerous, and uh, well, see you guys next time on the next videos, cheers.